The topic of this tutorial is connectors. Connectors are also called discourse connectors. These are words or phrases that connect ideas. It can be within sentences, between sentences, or larger blocks of, of text. There are three types of connectors, coordinating conjunctions, subordinating conjunctions, and transitions. Coordinating conjunctions join two independent clauses. This comes between clauses and always are preceded by a comma. Here, I present you some examples of coordinating conjunctions. For example, and, nor, and, or, that show addition, or, that show condition, but, or, yet, that show contrast, for, to express a cause and a reason, and so, that express effects and results. Here are some examples. We have two independent clauses. For example, I often forget things. I write everything down. If we join this in one sentence, it could be, I often forget things, comma, so I write everything down. Another example is, I heard what you said. What did you really mean? I heard what you said, comma, but what did you mean? Subordinating conjunctions is the second time of, connect, of connectors. These connect ideas within a sentence. They can, can come at the beginning of a subordinating clause. If they come first, they are usually followed by a comma. In other case, they don't. Some examples are if, even if, only if, unless, to show condition, as, because, or since, to express a cause or a reason, or thought, though, whereas, to show contrast, and to show a time sequence we have after, before, or when. An example of this can be, because I often forget things, I write everything down. I write everything down because I often forget things. This example will help you to notice where you can use a comma and where you are not going to use the comma. The transitions are the, th the third type of connectors. They connect ideas between sentences or larger sections of text. They can come at the beginning, in the middle, or at the end of a sentence. When they come at the beginning, they are preceded by a period or a semicolon and followed by a comma. When they come in the middle, a transition is preceded and followed by a comma. And finally, when they come at the end, it is preceded by a comma. We have two different kinds of transitions. The transitions that connect sentences and the ones that connect a larger sections of text. Here we have some times that connect sentences. To show addition, we have additionally, besides, furthermore, in addition, likewise, moreover, and plus. An example can be, I remember her telephone number. In addition, I remember what street she lives on. To show condition, we have otherwise. In this case, this, con this connector indicates an opposite result to what is expected. For example, we have, I need to write down your email address, otherwise I'll forget it. To show contrast, we have, however, in contrast, in spite of this, instead, nevertheless, still and so. An example is, her speech was good, nevertheless, I can't support her ideas. In order to express a result or an effect, we have accordingly, as a result, because of this, consequently, otherwise, therefore, and thus. An example can be, this new memory technique is helpful, thus, I recommend it to you. And finally, to show relationships between events or actions in time, we need, we have after that, afterwards, in the meantime, meanwhile, next, and then. An example is, I went to a memory workshop. Afterwards, I couldn't remember a single thing. 
And the transitions that connect blocks of text usually come at the beginning of a sentence, and they are always followed by a comma. There are four types. To list ideas in order of time or importance we have finally, first, most importantly, next, second, and third. For example, first, let's consider the question of short-term memory. To give examples we have, for example, and for instance. I can remember lots of things about people. For example, I always remember what they are wearing. In order to summarize, we have all in all, in summary, to summarize. For example, in summary, these are the key points about memory loss. And finally, to add a conclusion, the connectors can be in conclusion and to conclude. For example, to conclude, let me just say that we can all improve our memory if we work at it. Connectors help you to connect ideas. For this, it's important to use them on your writing assignments. Thank you so much.